wearing their own clothes, doing their own dances. None of you wondered this week if Bryce could wear plaid and play an electric guitar, right? We, but we're suspicious of other people's cultures. You wear your own clothes, you play your own instruments. So an area of resurrection in our story now is that we're trying to repent of, and we're seeing new life among our indigenous and Native American brothers and sisters who are saying, we're gonna follow Jesus and who we are. So another part of the story is sometimes we have to think what happened with Native Americans, what happened with indigenous people, is like way back in history, and not a tension that we need to be in today. That's why I thought I would bring out my brothers and sisters this morning, because I know that's real people today, and we're going to enter into the story today. So I want to honor and welcome Moani, who has been my sister and co-worker um, in campus ministry for <clears throat> a long time now. And uh, Moani, it is just, it has been an honor to sit at your feet and learn from you. You have pressed me and taught me so much about this story. Would you please introduce and welcome? We just want to say as a Pacifica Ohana that we are honored to be here. And we um, just want to say that we love Kiapua Manaloa. We love our Creator so much. And we're so blessed and grateful that we could be here with you, the family, and worship in spirit and in truth and freedom in who we are. And today we actually want to, as we're here in this land, we want to remember the river people and the people of the open mouths whose land we're in, yeah, whose house we're in, whose Aina it was. And, um, and we also are grateful because we have two of our native Ohana with us, Cortland, who is representing the Lakota School, and Misha, who is also representing the Yupik peoples of Alaska. So all of these folks are good at the conference will be all week, and they are going to share their song with us and invite us into it. <laughs> 